हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर जिकेदमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर फोर एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट एक्सप्रेस द मोमेंट ऑफ द कपल एक्टिंग ऑन द पाइप असम्बली इन कार्टीजन वैक्टर फॉर्म वट इज द मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ द कपल मोमेंट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ द कपल मोमेंट प्रोड्यूस बाई दिस टू अपोजिट फोर्सेज ऑफ मैग्नीच्यूड ट्वेंटी पाउंड Now we can find the moment of these two forces, which are producing a couple moment about any point. We can find the moment of these two forces about point A or somewhere here. Let's say we can find the moment about somewhere here. It's since the moment, uh, the couple moment produced by these two forces is a free vector. Uh, the moment produced by these two forces will have same effect at each and every point of this whole assembly. so we can find the moment of both of these forces about any point on the on this given assembly so let's say that if i want to find the moment about point a so i will write that the sum uh, the moment about point a will be equal to the summation of moment about point a and that will be equal to the moment due to this force and the moment due to this force so let's say that this force is since both the forces are equal but let's say that we name this force as let's say f1 and let's say that this force is f2 both has a magnitude of uh, both has same magnitude but they are acting in the opposite direction so one is f1 and the other one is f2 so we can we can define we can find the moment of f1 by taking the cross product so we can say that r cross f1 plus r cross f2 now we have to find we have to define the position vector which will be the moment arm for f1 so the position vector will be if you want to find the moment about point a so the position vector or the moment arm can be a vector which will be acting from a to b so r a b will be a position vector and that will be the that will be considered as the moment arm for f1 so let's say that r a b the moment arm can be any vector which will start from the point of rotation and which will end on any point on the line of action of the given force so for f2 we can say that the position vector from a to c can be considered as the moment arm so we will write that this is r a c so now we have to find r a b and r a c so let me write it here that r a b the position vector for f1 or the moment arm for f1 so we can write this position vector from a b by traveling from point a along the x y and z in order to reach this point b so from a we need to travel 3 feet in the positive y and then we need to travel 1 feet this 1 feet in the negative z so we can say that in the negative i we need to move uh one feet and in the positive j we need to move three feet so we can write that minus 1 i plus 3 j and there is no need to move in the z direction so that will become 0 k similarly we can write that let me draw that position vector this position vector is from a to b so this is our position vector and similarly the position vector from a to c this is our position vector from a to c this is the position vector from a to b this is the position vector from a to c so we can write that r a c so now we can write r a c again when if we travel from a in the positive y direction when we travel this much distance so this distance is 3 plus 1.5 so this is 4.5 in the positive j So I will write plus four point five j. So we will reach here. We will reach here, and then we need to travel this distance. So uh, we need to travel this two feet distance. Two feet distance in the positive x. So I will write plus two i, and then once we reach here, then we need to travel one feet again in the positive j in the positive y. So I will write plus 1j 
Now we can add both of these terms. So both of these terms will give us 4.5 plus 1 will give us 5.5. So that is 5.5. So we need to travel 5.5 feet distance in the y direction. So this is 3 plus 1.5 plus 1. And there is no need to travel in the z direction. So this will become 0k. And similarly, we have to represent that F1 and F2 as a Cartesian vector. So F1 is acting in the positive Z direction and it has a magnitude of 20 pounds. So since it is acting in the positive Z, so it is acting in the positive K. So it's, it's I and J component are zero and it is acting in the positive K with a magnitude of 20. And similarly, F2, this is zero I plus zero J and that is minus 20 K since it is acting in the downward direction that is in the negative Z. So now we can write that the moment produced by the couple, let me write that this is MA, let's see. So MA will be, um, we can find it by finding the determinant that is, so I will write I, J and K. Now the components of our A, B, so minus one plus three and zero minus 1 plus 3 and 0 and the components of f1 which is 0 0 and plus 20 similarly plus again i j and k and the components of our ac the position vector from a to c 2 5.5 and 0 so 2 5.5 and 0 and the components of f2 0 0 minus 20 so this is equal to now we can write we can find the determinant by using this particular row so for i we have to hide this and this so this is uh, 3 into 20 60 minus 0 so this is plus 60i then for j we have to hide this column and this row so minus 1 into 20 is minus 20 and with j we always write minus sign so minus 20 into minus so that will become plus 20 j if we hide this and this and this will become zero so plus 20 j and then for k we need to hide this row and this column this is zero and zero so zero k similarly the this one uh, again, we have to hide this and this. So this will become 5 into 5 into minus 20. So let me write that this will be plus 5.5 into minus 20i. And then for j, we need to hide this and this. So this um, minus 40. And with j, there is always minus sign. So minus 40 plus 40j. So plus 40j. And for k, we need to hide this. So this 0 minus 0. So 0k. Zero So now we have to add up uh, the i the i with i 60 plus this let me add it so this is plus uh, plus 60 plus 5.5 into minus 20 this gives us minus 50 so minus 50 i now the j component is this is 20 and this is 40 plus 60 j and plus 0k so this is the moment of the couple about point a or we can say that this is the moment produced by the couple or we can say that this is the couple moment and the units will be this the units will be uh, in pound feet now the the couple produced by both of these forces has two components one is minus 50i and the other one is plus 60j so now what is meant by this uh, minus 50 so about the x-axis both of these forces are producing the moment in the clockwise direction so the thumb need to point out in the the thumb need to point out in the negative eye that is in the negative eye so if the thumb is pointing out in the negative eye so direct your thumb in the negative eye and curl your fingers so the the fingers are curling in this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative eye so we can say that this is the, this will be minus 50 I. And we can say that this is 50 pound feet. 
and this is the direction this is in the negative i so this is the x component of the couple produced by both of these forces and similarly about j uh, that is 60 pound feet and we have plus j so the thumb need to point out the thumb of the right hand need to point out in the positive y direction so if we direct our thumb in this direction so the fingers need to curl in this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so this means that uh, both of these forces are producing the moment about the y-axis is in this direction and the thumb is going to point out in the positive y direction and it has a magnitude of 60 pound feet and there is no moment produced about the z-axis and since we are required to find the magnitude of the couple moment we can find the magnitude so the magnitude of the couple moment will be equal to so that will be 50 square we need to take the squares of the components and then we need to take the square roots. We can always use the Pythagoras theorem. So this is 50 square plus 60 square plus 0 square. This gives us the magnitude which is uh, 78.10 and this is again pound feet. Now this is one of the method. We have determined the uh, couple moment by finding the moments about point A and summing the moments about that point A. Uh, similarly, we can find the moment of these two forces which are making a couple moment about either point B or point C. So point B or point C are the points which lie on the line of action of any of these two forces. So we can find the moment of a couple forces about any point on the line of, any, uh, on the line of action of any of these two forces. So we can find the moment, the couple moment will be, we can say that the couple moment can be determined by finding the moment about point B, or we can say that the couple moment can be determined by finding the moment about point C. Now it's up to you people that whether you people want to find the moment about point B or the moment about point C. So let's find the moment about point B and we need to get we need to have the same answer by finding the moment by using these two methods we need to have the same result the same magnitude so let's let's find that moment so now we can say that the the couple moment is equal to we can find it by the moment about point b so the this f1 is passing through point b so it's not going to produce the moment about point b since it's perpendicular distance or its moment arm from this point b is zero so the case is very simple we need to find the moment of f2 only about this point b so to find the moment about point b we need to find the moment of this f2 only since this f1 is passing through that point b so it will make our life easier we do we do not need to find two determinants while finding the moment about any point on the line of action of f1 or any point on the line of action of f2 so now to find the moment uh, about point B, we can say that this will be equal to RBC. RBC will be the, the position vector from B to C and it will be the moment arm for F2. So this is F2. So this will give us that same couple moment. So now we have to define uh, the position vector from B to C. This will be the position vector from B to C like this this will be this is the position vector from b to c so let's write it in the determinant this will be i j and k now the position vector from b to c can be determined again by traveling from b in the x y and z direction so from point b we need to travel this distance this distance is one feet this is in the positive x and so let me write that rbc so one feet in the positive x that is in the positive i this distance then we need to travel this distance this is 1.5 in the positive j that's in the positive y so plus 1.5 j then once we reach here then we need to travel this distance this distance is two feet this is again in the positive i so again we will write plus two i and then we need to travel one feet again in the positive j 
and there is no need to travel in the k so this will become 0k now we can say that this will become we can add both of these uh, i components so that will be 2 plus 1 3 so plus 3 i plus 2.5 j plus 0 k so now we can interpret this as the distance along the x-axis between both the forces so that is 3 between the forces along the x the distance is 3 this is 2 plus 1 and the distance between f1 and f2 along the y direction is 1.5 plus 1 so that is 2.5 and in the z they are lying at the same surface or at the same plane so that is why we have 0 k so this is the position vector from b to c now we have to insert these components here so that will be plus 3 plus 2.5 0 and the components of f2 so the components of f2 are 0 0 and minus 20 so we will write 0 0 and minus 20. now again we have to find this determinant so to find the determinant we have to use this row so we have to hide this row and this column so 2.5 into minus 20 minus 0 so this is 2.5 into minus 20 into i then for j we have to hide this and this so 3 into minus 20 so is minus 60 and with j we have minus so that will become plus 60 plus 60 j and for k you need to hide this 0 minus 0 so this will become 0 k so 2.5 into 20 this gives us 50 so this is again we have that same answer minus 50 i plus 60 j plus 0 k so this is the couple moment and we got that same cartesian vector that is minus 50 plus 60 j plus 0 k the units are in pound feet so i will always recommend to find the moment of uh, a couple forces about the line of action of uh, uh, about a point which is lying on the line of action of any of these two forces so always this method is recommended since uh, we can find the moment using this method uh, finding the moment about any point but uh, we need to have more calculation in that particular case so this particular method is very easy so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics